Friends, today is uh, Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. We are looking at, this week, at reasons to believe in the resurrection. We've covered uh, three of those to date. One of those is uh, the, the arc of the Christian movement. It's impossible to explain it without the continuing presence and power of Jesus. A second one is uh, the fact that there are no good alternative explanations for the story that we have in the Gospels of the Resurrection. And today, uh, we're going to look at the specific behavior of the disciples after the resurrection. So let's take some time to read 1 Corinthians 15, 17 to 20, and 30. If Christ has not been raised, this is Paul speaking to his friends in Corinth, your faith is futile, you are still in your sins. Then those also who have died in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. If we only knew Christ in this life, but we don't know him now, we should be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. Why otherwise are we putting ourselves in danger every hour? The, the next reason I believe in the resurrection is connected to the behavior of people like Paul and the other disciples. A defeated and fearful group is galvanized into brave and risky action. Despite organized opposition and at the cost of their lives, they begin to proclaim the resurrection of a crucified criminal. And they knew that the idea of the Messiah being crucified as a criminal was a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Greeks. Greeks could only imagine God as not someone who would suffer and as a glorious being, a powerful, distant from us, not as someone who could come amongst us and take responsibility for our brokenness. That was hard for Greeks to take on board. And for Jews, the Messiah was a victorious figure, not a suffering figure. So no one risks their lives for beliefs that they know, know to be false or undergo suffering and death for things they think are unlikely or dubious. The New Testament accounts, in effect, show the disciples moving from doubt prior okay, to the resurrection. They don't like the idea that of their, their leader and Messiah dying. They don't understand how it's going to work. They're confused to absolute conviction afterwards in which they risk their lives. Um, they turn from confusion and disbelief to, to absolutely complete confidence in the reality of the resurrection. Let's pray. Lord, we want to live like the early disciples did as courageous and committed disciples. Take away fear and anxiety. Help us to know that the resurrection of Jesus is real and that that resurrection power lives in us. We thank you in his name for this. Amen.